Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about input tab order and how to make sure that when a user is moving through a form with multiple inputs on a page just like this, it actually goes through in a logical sequence and we're using the tab key on the keyboard. So for example, if I start at first name here and I hit tab on my keyboard, it moves to last name, then to email address, then phone, then other phone, right? So that moves in an order that I would expect and want because uh, I'm going to start at the upper left, move left to right, then work my way down to the next line and then to the next line. And that's Bubble's default behavior is to move left to right, then top to bottom. So my suggestion for you, if you're trying to have your users move through the form in a specific order is to arrange your inputs um, with that in mind. The first ones, the most important ones that you want to have filled out should be at the top and it'll go left to right before it moves on to the next line. Now, if you are experiencing some issues where when you're hitting tab, things are not actually uh, moving through in the right order, things are jumbled up, it's most likely because you have inputs grouped um, uh, not symmetrically. Some might be grouped, some might be not grouped, um, or you might have the placement of these inputs um, in a way that doesn't make sense to bubble. So for example, um, if I have a text next to this email input and it says email is optional, and, you know, just to help myself arrange the design to keep spacing and alignment even, I happen to group these two together. OK, so let's say I do that. I group them. Now I have inputs that are not grouped, these four here. And then I have this one email in uh, email input that is inside of a group. Bubble sees this group as a completely different section. So when you start at the top with first name, it's going to move through all of the ungrouped inputs first before it moves into the email address. Um, input. So let's preview the page just so that you can see what happens there. First name, last name, then it skips over email, over to phone, then other phone. Uh, looks like it's going into my address bar over there, and then finally email address, right? So if you're seeing this kind of behavior, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, it can be very cumbersome, make sure to check out how things are grouped together. What I would do to fix that is either put everything inside of the same group or ungroup these um, uh, these two elements. Uh, I could also move the email address uh, input and its text below the phone number so that it still makes sense to have the user go through first, last, then phone and other phone before it goes on the email address because it's not actually skipping anything and you know it's not like a jarring um, uh, experience for the user. Okay, so that's really it with tab order. Just keep in mind that it's left to right top to bottom, make sure that when you are aligning things um, and spacing them, them out that uh, you don't have, uh, you know, for example, an input that's a little bit above another one or uh, an input that's a little bit to the left or to the right, because that could uh, potentially affect the order of everything. Make sure everything is spaced in line evenly and make sure that if stuff has to be in groups, test out your tab order. You might have to group other things together to keep it all uniform or end up ungrouping after you've used the groups to arrange things. Um, again, if the groups are important, that's fine. You can keep them there. Uh, you just might need to also group um, your other inputs so that Bubble can still see them as one unit and go in that left to right, top to bottom order. All right, so that's just a quick tip there for you for tab order. Uh, if you are interested in uh, getting other quick tips like this uh, that go through specific features, uh, we have a VIP membership. There's a link in a description um, or in the description below, a link to the VIP info. If you are not already a member, there are tons and tons of tutorials, both written and video that walk you through things like this. Uh, so if you liked this one, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below. And thanks so much for watching.